if we start to see a higher terminal rate from the Fed, excuse me, and we get to like 5.3%, say, with the market's pricing now or even more, mm. what, that, that, what does the ECB do with that? The Fed keeps going. Don't they have to keep going? I think, yeah, there is a limit as to how far the ECB is going to be able to match the Fed. And I think that's really interesting when it comes into FX currency dynamics. And that's why the ECB is probably more inclined, rather than jacking rates up now to match the Fed as much as they can, they're going to be more inclined to be using forward guidance for next year's interest rate policy, maybe the year after that, to try to redress the balance between uh, them and the Fed. But the Fed, Frankly, I, I think that they're running policy which is too dovish at the moment, which is allowing inflation risks uh, to build. Uh, and I really question whether they'll be able to cut rates at all next year. Perhaps they'll actually need to be embarking on another hiking cycle. Oh. So how high do they need to go then in that case, if they're going to hold at this level for UC for longer? So I reckon that our star is more like 2.5%, meaning that 4.5% in, in a normal inflation regime would be neutral so they they're at neutral at the moment the Fed in my mind mm -hmm. but but because inflation is so high it's not really biting at all so once they assess that if they get to their terminal rate of 525 then as the assessment takes place then they're probably going to reach the decision that they need to go again and go higher to really take the demand out of the economy and to, to deal with inflation properly